Challenge 105. This is Challenge Rift 105. We can see that it's a Crusader. The Clowns, baby. I watched the Melbourne punk band Clowns this weekend with my beautiful, gorgeous girlfriend. Had an awesome weekend and got this t-shirt for both of us. Let's check out this week's Challenge Rift. Obviously, Crusader class. So having a look at the gear, obviously we're benefiting from the Legacy of Nightmares season here. The Season of Nightmares, it's Season 17, and we've got this buff up here, which is, while you have no set bonuses equipped, every ancient item you have equipped increases your damage by 750% per ancient item and reduces damage taken by 4% per ancient item. So that doesn't mean you can't have set items equipped, like we do here, Ogfield's Power and also Immortal King's Internal, Eternal Reign, you can have them equipped by all means as long as you don't have any set bonuses, which we don't here. So this is going to be fine. Don't freak out. We're still going to benefit from those awesome multipliers there. And this is also known as an LON Captain America Blessed Shield build. So here we go with Gear Falcon's Foot. It's a very important legendary stat here. It removes the resource cost of Blessed Shield and increases its damage by 350%. So... You guessed it, we're going to be throwing shields. Just like Captain America, constantly throwing shields. Other than that, there's nothing really too special about the gear equipped here. We're just benefiting so much from that Legacy of Nightmares ring set buff this season. That Nightmares buff that it's just not going to be very challenging. This is a super easy challenge rift, which is why I thank you all so much for tuning in and watching this creepy, ugly mug right here. Let's have a quick look at the skills. We're using Blessed Shield, which is our primary damage dealer. Steed Charge, Provoke, Laws of Valor... Iron Skin, and Akarat's Champion. So Provoke here, which taunts all nearby enemies and lets us gain Wrath. It's not going to really help us much, apart from we gain the block chance there for a short period of time. Because of this Gear Falcon's foot, we're not going to be running out of resource whatsoever. Quickly looking at the passives here, Indestructible, Towering Shield, and Fervor, Finery also. So what we're going to be doing as soon as we enter the Challenge Rift, the most important buff here is Laws of Valor, which increases your attack speed and also your crit damage. So this Blessed Shield, we're going to be doing, we're going to be able to throw more Blessed Shields, and we're going to be also doing more damage with that uh, increase in critical hit damage. So Provoke we can definitely use. It's going to give us a bit of a block chance, but for the most part you won't even need it. What I usually do is if I come across an elite pack, I definitely activate Accurate's Champion. I'll use my Iron Skin there to reduce damage taken. Make sure that Laws of Valor is always active and then bang. Just keep throwing shields. It's that easy. Keep throwing shields and things will die. If you're taking a lot of damage, definitely use a Provoke, but I don't think you'll have much trouble at all. And, of course, for mobility and a bit of speed increases, you've got your Steed Charge here. You can go on to the next pack, keep throwing your shields, and pretty much just make sure that you're focused here on Laws of Valor and just ensure that it's active at all times. That is your big uh, skill there that's going to increase damage big time because we're going to be casting uh, blessed shields more often and a lot quicker there because it increases our attack speed and also a critical hit damage. So... Really, theoretically, all you really need to know is keep your Laws of Valor uh, up, make sure it's active at all times, and then just cast your shield and keep on moving forward, and you're going to pass this Challenge Rift. It's that damn easy. Obviously, stay charged through whenever you need to to get to the next pack, and keep... Oh my god, my voice just broke. Pack! My, the next pack, like so. And if it's an Elite, I, I usually will cast Akrat's Champion for extra damage. And that's pretty much it. It's super simple. It's one of the most fun builds in the game, I think. The good old Captain America throwing the good old Blessed Shield build. Heaps of fun. Lots of damage output as well. And it just... It's just, it's just so easy. You're not going to really struggle with this at all. So thank you all for tuning in. Don't forget subscribing here is optional. It's definitely appreciated. Any support you can give the creepy one, your creepy damn uncle is always much appreciated in and in return you will get not only my appreciation but my love let's do this together as always love you all we're in and like i said laws of valor and just start casting those shields start throwing those damn shields captain america start 
And here we go with an elite. Akrat's champion is activated. We're gonna smash through him, collect our orbs, keep on moving, and of course you got Steed Charge to move to the next elite pack. Or in this case, for my example, I'm just gonna kill the density as we go. Just make sure that you keep moving forward and you'll see that you'll be pulling away from that timer and you're gonna beat the damn weekly time quite easily. If you really want to get an awesome time, I would probably suggest using your Steed Charge whenever you can just to move from Elite to Elite and then also just get those pylons as well. What I'm doing is killing trash. Uh, it's definitely effective to pass the challenge roof, beat the time, collect those materials and keep on playing our seasonal journeys. But if you're looking to get on the leaderboards, then you want to definitely alternate your strategy and your tactics and probably use that Steed Charge just to go and target the Elite Packs. <clears throat> There's two elite packs here. <clears throat> so we're moving along very nice. We're pulling ahead of time there, as you can see. On that blue timer there to our right. Another elite here. Collect those orbs. Keep on going. Don't forget to activate those pylons. <clears throat> and we actually had some technical difficulties here at the your creepy uncle's house. My camera had this very unusual blue haze to it. It happens every now and then. Sometimes I have to uninstall it and reinstall it. Today, I just updated the software I'm using, which is XSplit, for those of you that are wondering. Updated the software, pulled out the USB cable for the camera, put it back in, and bingo, we're back in action in HD quality, baby. 1080p HD. How do I look in HD? Probably creepy and ugly as always. I feel like I'm wearing a Coca-Cola t-shirt though. It really feels like enjoy Coca-Cola, but it's clowns. And like I mentioned really quickly at the beginning, Clowns is an awesome Melbourne punk band. For those of you that are in Australia, definitely check them out. They're always doing gigs around the country. If you're into punk, punk rock that is. If you're into live music, you'll enjoy them as well. Had an awesome time this weekend. Sending all my unconditional love to the beautiful Marita. Thank you as always for giving your creepy guy here the best weekend ever. Let's hope that that lasts forever for the rest of our lives. So, like I was talking about, Captain America, just keep throwing those blessed shields out. Make sure that Laws of Bella is activated. They charge just to move from pack to pack. And as you can see, we're smashing through the time now. We're pulling ahead very, very nicely. And I haven't played this like at all. This is pretty much my first run. I just quickly had a quick sneak peek just to see what the rift uh, floors were like. And I pretty much found that it was going to end here on the second floor, poured it out, hit that record button, dealt with the stupid camera difficulties that I had, and uh, here we are. Back as always, and really looking forward to uploading some uh, Witch Doctor content. Absolutely loving the Witch Doctor this season, and stay tuned to the channel for upcoming videos. Here we go, the Rift Guardian has arrived. So same thing with the Rift Guardian, pop all those cooldowns, Accurate champion if it's available. We just keep on casting those shields and that's it. We're done. Done and dusted. <clears throat> All you have to do now is port on back, uh, complete this week's challenge rift, and then log into your seasonal characters to claim your rewards, which comes in the form of a cache. So open up your cache and get your rewards and keep on playing your seasons. Thank you all so much for tuning in. A lot of you probably wouldn't even need help this week because it's so damn easy. You could figure it out. You could pretty much just use one button. Even if you weren't activating your Laws of Valor, you could run through this and just throwing blessed shields everywhere, Captain America style, and you would have completed the challenge rift that way anyway. It's that damn easy, and that's why I appreciate it that much more that you came and visited your favorite damn creepiest uncle 
in this goddamn universe. Love you all. Make sure you come back, you hear? Otherwise, you're in big trouble. Thank <laughs> you.